What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Recently, Jada Pinkett and Tiffany Haddish did somewhat of a collaboration on the popular show Red Table Talk. And, you know, Red Table Talk is one of those shows where I think that, you know, many people come on and talk about absolutely nothing, uh, which is why I hate the show and I would never watch it. But it's one of those shows, I guess, it's for like a female audience. No problem with that. And, and they talk about a bunch of nothing. Right. And, and, and in this nothing was somewhat of an interesting conversation regarding their hair. OK. Now, what is it that Tiffany Haddish and Jada Pinkett have in common? Both of them have shaved their shaved their head. In fact, they're bald like me. I mean, it's and that's terrible because my hair is short as a, as a finger snap. I never it. But that's what we're dealing with today. And interestingly enough, Will not Will Smith, but but Jada Pinkett wanted to know how does Common feel about her going bald, and they ask each other the same question and and both of them said that you know jada pinkett said will smith likes her new bald head tiffany said common loved it both of these guys love their hair now if you look at will smith and common both of them and we look at in their industries they're considered uh, alpha males will smith is a very successful formerly a rapper if y'all if y'all remember that from in the 80s then transitioning into the entertainment industry same thing with common but both of them, we would consider them beta males in relationship setting. All right. We already know about Jada, uh, Jada Pinkett's, you know, little cheating entanglement with the little young dude. I forgot his name. And we already know that, you know, Tiffany Haddish feels she can joke and go and disrespect Common and say, you know, like he needs to give me a goddamn apartment building for me to marry him. But the reality is, is that when women go bald, the next thing they do typically is go to divorce. All right. It's a, it's a signifying thing when women, especially American women, go bald. Think about it. I had a guest the other day. All right. And I heard this all the time. When women get ready to want to divorce you, what do they do? They start changing their habits, start changing their hair, shorten their hair. Cut it all the way off. Complete what? Feminist. And sooner or later, divorce. And the reason why Common and Will Smith are okay with it is two reasons. The first reason, they see the writing on the wall. Okay? The relationship is over. I'm just waiting for it to run its course. Okay? Or the second thing is that they're just trying to hold on for dear life. The reality is, is that it's not Will Smith's fault. Or, I mean, it's not Jada Pinkett's fault or Tiffany Haddish's fault for going bald. It's Will Smith's fault and Common's fault for allowing it. Okay? But I'm going to say it like this. There's someone who can wear, I would say, short hair like Fantasia. Fantasia is absolutely gorgeous with that short hair. There's some women who can rock it like that. But if a woman has long hair and cuts all her hair off, here's where we're going. You're getting your ass out of my house. There's only one person in my house going to have a bald head. That's me. Okay? You can't be looking like me. I'm not going to be in the bed with Michael Jordan. Charles Barkley. I'm not going to do that. If you want to be bald, you're going to do it somewhere else. You won't do it over here. And it's not because... I have something against bald head, but I know what that means. Like if I if I come and see you, you have a long hair hair. Now let's just talk about this. Like if you're a person that wears different weaves and wigs, I really don't like the weave wearers of the world. But if you want to wear different wigs and weaves and stuff, long as it ain't like blonde or orange or rainbow colored or Skittles, I don't want nothing looking like a pack of candy on your head. <laughs> Because I'm a businessman. I can't have you embarrassing me. 
I can't take you to no goddamn Dubai. You got all kind of different colors and cauliflower and broccoli and apples and oranges all in your head. What do I look like? I work too hard in my life to be dealing with people whose head look like rainbow Skittles. Looking like now and later. I can't deal with that, okay? But if it's a good conservative color, brown, black, I don't want no brown spots in your weave, looking like a Rottweiler puppy, do you think that's necessary? I can't deal with that. But if you cut it all the way off, I know you're going through something. And that should signify behavioral changes in the woman. The woman starts challenging her position in the relationship. Like, oh, well, what is my role? I, you know, I don't want to be you're just only your wife. I mean, isn't something else that I need to be doing? And she's being influenced by the outside source. So when she cuts her hair bald and you go along with it, the next step is anything goes. But I can tell you where you're going. You're getting the hell out of my house. Okay? You're going over there. I don't deal with bald headed. Uh, no, I don't deal with that. You're going to have a nice set of hair like you had when I met you. Okay? Because people, you know, people want to change up too much and expect men to continue to deal with that. And you guys got to watch these behavioral changes. They start cutting their hair short, start dyeing it blonde. Okay? If they never did that, some something is going on with them psychologically. And by the time they do that, it's too late. And what's going to happen for most guys, they're going to drag you down the tunnel that you're not ready for. And most guys, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not, uh, most guys are not intelligent enough to play mind games with women. You're just not. Once women start going through those phases, and if you don't get rid of them soon enough and you stay with them, they're going to take you down a real dark alley road. And the only per and then she, she going to self-destruct by herself. She, if you dumb enough, you're going to self-destruct with her. You're going on a sinking ship. When the behavioral changes start matching the outer appearance, start dressing different, start hanging out with different friends, start liking different kind of foods, and then cut her hair off, bald, get her out of there. Get her out of there now. Because it's too late. Get her out of there now. Don't wait on it. Like my granddad used to tell me in the black, in the black community, don't tarry. Do it now. Get rid of them now. I tell you young men right now, get rid of them now. Don't waste your time. Let her be bald by herself. Okay? Let her be bald by herself. So when she want to shoot jump shots like Michael Jordan's in fadeaways, give her a basketball, a ball head, and some Jordans. Send her on her goddamn way to the nearest basketball court. Okay? Because if you agree to the changes that she's going to be going through, the next thing you'll be dealing with if you're not dealing with it right now is a sexless marriage or a sexless relationship. Okay? You keep going through these changes with her. And the only person who's going to be miserable is you. Okay? And then when she's going to come back, because she wants, because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. She's going to be bald headed. She'll find some dude. He'll be working at Kroger's Walmart. Somebody broke Dusty. He'll booty clap sounds. He'll hit it a few times and stuff. Then when she figured that it's over, hear her bald head self coming back towards you. Okay? Here she coming back towards you. But no, 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 no. You already messed up. You get bad actors out of there. The things that men can control, shout out to Obsidian. Men can control their penis. You can control your action. You can control your wallet. And for a bonus, you can control her being in a relationship with you. Those are four things you can control. You can't control how she acts, but you can send her on her goddamn way. And most of you guys need to send them on their way. Stop letting them stay there. Get them the fuck out. Get them out right now. Not now, but right now. Send them to the basketball court with a jersey and some Jordans on and let her shoot hook shots by herself. Okay. You can do whatever you want, but you won't do it here. And Will Smith and Common made all that money to still be begging and, and, and under women and getting punks every goddamn day. Life is too short for that shit. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Trunk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.